Artemis is NASA's mission to go to the moon, right? To create a sustainable presence on the moon. Um, we've been to the moon before, obviously, but we want to go there this time to stay. Our part in Artemis is to help establish that infrastructure system um, where we can transmit power from outside of a crater to inside of a crater um, because everything needs electrical power. Hello and welcome to the winner's announcement for our What's on the Moon Phase 2 Level 2 Challenge. Power is really important on the moon and so NASA instituted this challenge called What's on the Moon. But it actually goes back a little bit before that where there was what's called a Big ID Challenge which was a student competition. My lab was just founded and we were looking for some projects to do and so this was perfect timing for us to get involved. It started off as the T-Rex mission, um, which is kind of what I was hired into the lab for the first place for. It was this moon rover, which is actually back there, and uh, its purpose is to deliver power and data to missions that operate within the permanently shaded regions of the lunar polar regions. And this program actually flowed directly into Watts, where the Watts and Moon Sentinel Challenge by NASA was looking for systems that could send kilowatts of power into the same environment. I think we have a good chance of being able to revolutionize kind of the power distribution uh, that will be needed on the moon in the coming decades as we start doing space utilization. So being able to provide constant power to the bottom of PSRs with a superconducting cable, you're able to do that very efficiently. We're in phase two, level two right now where we're making hardware and we're doing testing on our own. And NASA came here to look at that hardware, which was cool and was kind of unique for this challenge. But um, in phase two, level three, uh, which is what we'll get $400,000 to compete in, hopefully, we'll be building a full-scale test, a full system that's rated for vacuum, and we'll be going to NASA facilities and testing that hardware, and they'll be directly inspecting that test. So without further ado, here are the winners of the What's on the Moon Phase 2 Level 2 Challenge. Michigan Technological yeah. University Planetary Surface Technology Development Lab, Houghton, Michigan. <laughs>